Hello everyone, and welcome to Haunt the House, a cute little creepy and comfy game in which we play as a ghost disturbed by a sudden party in the place we inhabit. And you know ghosts, all they want to do is rest, so we'll have to build up our energy to cause enough havoc to scare them all away. But we've got to be careful because some of them don't scare as easily as others. I first discovered this as a Flash game all the way back in 2012, and I had so much fun with it on a rainy Friday night. So imagine my surprise a couple years later when it got a full Steam release, featuring more soundtracks, which as you can hear are fantastic, and more levels. Let's give it a shot. Now we've got Ghost Train, Terror Town, North Pole, and Mansion House, which is uh, the only one I've ever tried on here because that is the original, and that's what we're going to be starting off with. There we go. And here you can see my old score, but I don't care about that. I am starting a new game. This is where it all began. Scare away all 30 partygoers from your mansion house. I always love this, so here we are in our little secret room. And for all I know, we may have died here. All right, let's figure this out. So if we come over to this chest, you'll see we can possess with the S key, and we can now spook with the D key, causing a skeleton to pop out, uh, which is a bit of a gag, but let's be honest. If a skeleton popped out of anything, you would be scared. Uh, on the top, you can see we've got 30 out of 30 party goers who we need to get rid of. And in the bottom left, the mansion atmosphere is relaxed. The more scaring we do, the more tense everyone becomes, which makes it easier for us to get rid of them and allows us to unlock new abilities. Our strength is our fear, after all. So let's head through a wall and start with the attic. Now, we're a ghost. They cannot see us unless we take form. However, as you can see, the animals do notice us. The mice are afraid of our presence and the cat watches us pass but the cat is kind of a silent observer. Now there is one ability we can always use, the ooh. Now we've come into a rug and we can wobble it when we're near people. And that makes them a little bit tense. And they're going to flee the room. They're not probably going to leave the mansion, but they will leave the area. Uh, now we can get inside this cage and using the keys, we can just sway it back and forth, uh, which causes them to avert their eyes and just try not to think about it, but eventually it becomes too violent and they simply cannot ignore it anymore. And now you'll see we have raised the atmosphere level to quiet. Let's have more of a look around and see where everybody's congregating these days. There's one of the people from the attic and they're uh, Kinda of freaked out. Maybe they're going back to try and confirm that uh, it really was just their imagination. Well, no such luck, Billy. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna haunt you specifically, and now you are panicking and oh yeah, that's a bit of an unideal outcome, and we'll see why at the end. Uh, but you dove from the window. That is one way to get you out of there. You know, it works. Um, but it's not the same as forcing them to flee out the front door. You actually kind of want to show them the door. You want to do this as methodically, I guess, as possible. There we go. A whole bunch of you saw that one. What can we do in here? It's, it's always good to try and terrorize someone in particular at a given moment, but you don't seem to be too receptive to the harp. I guess you are a music enjoyer. Uh, uh, and you're going up. Alright, what can we do with you guys? We can swing the light back and forth, hitting the painting on the wall as we go. Can we do anything with the painting? Sway that. Yeah, right now all our abilities are just things of this nature, but they get really, really crazy as we go. You can see all these objects and just anticipate all the things that they're going to be doing later on. And beyond that, it's really a lot of just spamming abilities. Oh, 
You can run. Now you're at your peak panic. You're heading this way. Oh, no, you're heading the wrong way. Come on. Uh. Oh, but look, we've unlocked the second tier. So now we can wiggle or we can spin. Oops, oh, somebody just left and from the look of it, probably out a window. So that's kind of annoying. Unless they did run out the front door, we weren't there to see it. Will you run out the front door? Is the, oh, oh no. Out you go. Yep, I'm not, this isn't going in an ideal fashion for me. This is proving to be a much more malicious haunt and I'm not even trying to make it one. Uh, look at you in the basement. We can flap the ironing board. Uh, higher tier abilities cause more panic. Okay, let's not do the same thing over and over. Oh, look at my spooky barrel full of swords. Oh, and different objects have different things at different tiers! <laughs> oh, that was always among my favorites. Can we possess the table? I want to possess the table, come on. Haunt. Oh, you're having a dilemma in your head right now. <laughs> you're trying to wonder if this is Christine or Herbie Fully Loaded. I think that sound indicates that we have gotten a full break, but it doesn't really seem like it has. But yeah, you really do just have to spam your abilities if you want to get rid of anyone. Ooh. And you, oh no, hey, lady, door's right there. Door is right there. Good day, ma'am. <laughs> oh, that's got you vaguely concerned, does it? And the puppy knows. Oh wait, no, let's wait for the next guy to walk by. God, you people are oblivious. All right, let's uh, bring this music room to life. Come on, that's a jump scare. That's gotta get you all out. We'll even play a happy little tune as we leave. Hang on, wait, possess the table again? I think we can levitate. We can! It's like we're rising up from, like we're rising up from the death shroud. Oh, you guys are not having a fun time. The tension is now terrifying, and we have the full range of abilities. And look, now it's moving. Isn't that scary? And I guess you guys weren't impressed by the literal monster arriving in front of you. This game is just so fun and creative. It's really just a showcase of like a million different animations at the end of the day. Uh, I really want people in the... Oh, wait. God, that's creepy, but apparently you guys care more about falling books. To be honest, I understand that fear. It's just I don't quite understand in context. Oh, you guys aren't scared of a living dollhouse? That's all right. There's always this thing. Oh wow, without even realizing it, we've actually gotten rid of almost half of everyone. Yeah, no, isn't that... <laughs> isn't that spooky? I I've never really quite understood if there's... I think there's probably a proper progression to this. Like, a way you're supposed to do things, but I've never been able to figure it out, just about. No, oh, come on, head for the hills! There we go! You guys running upstairs is a major concern, though. See, these hauntings are much more subtle, the uh, instruments, although they can still hit for big damage, or what you can call damage, I suppose. But the thing is, like, I, I remember, like, having this dream as a kid of there being a game where we are a ghost, invisible in a house, but, but like, you know, like, fully 3D, like, I guess at the time, PS2 style. And just being able to do things like walk across a hallway so that someone sees us in silhouette. I didn't care about being able to win or lose, which would kind of be a prerequisite for a game to have any staying power. I just wanted to scare the living. And this is kind of the closest thing we've gotten. Oh wait, what does shock do? 
makes the clock be a clock. Yeah, look, infinite light bulbs, it's horrifying. There's this effect that happens though, where even though these, some abilities are higher tier, you end up getting more bang for your buck, it seems like, out of abilities that uh, you can spam rather than animations that take a while. Wait, wait. What do you do about the monster under the bed when the bed starts floating, huh? Alright, we've gotten most of everyone, but the, the ones who remain are not so easy to stare. That one just seems kind of mildly annoyed. A tad perplexed, some might say. There you are, run. Somebody left. Oh my goodness, some of these scare me if I don't know what they do. Hang on, let's lie and wait. And I got rid of some people. Lie and wait. Oh, you guys are no fun. Here, have a different monster. You start uh, physically manifesting a lot more at the higher levels. Ah, oh, you didn't run into my other monster. Well, how about this one? See, it, it did the thing. It did, like, the critical thing. Maybe it has to do with how much they actually, uh, with how much fear the person had added to them. Because I've never quite understood how that worked, but you are on your way out. Just don't lose momentum. Come on. Get out of here. And that's two-thirds of guests eliminated. Things are quieter already. Woohoo! Once again, was not expecting that. I'm just repeatedly headbutting you. Please panic. Okay, so it seems... I, I am discovering one thing. It seems like the best thing to do when somebody's panicking back and forth right here is nothing. Because every time I try to shoo them out the door, they run back. Otherwise, they just kind of go this way. But as you can see, hmm, we don't have the option of leaving either. We can rocket ourselves towards the edge of the screen, even make it off, but we'll be pushed back every time. This is our place. We don't have the option of leaving, which is why they need to. There we go. Now, we actually get more bang for our buck out of moving this thing around the room than we do from the haunt. Go on, get out of here. Back to where it began. I honestly can't believe any of you are still doing this. Wait, no. Now's our time. My time is now. Goodbye. Meanwhile, Tall Guy is still looking for a rational explanation. I'm not sure what the ooh actually does. Because they don't seem to react to it at all. Oh, I meant to possess the tub, but I guess I just kind of rattled some towels in a way you probably didn't notice. Just keep spamming stuff out. That's all we got to do. Now it's the last few, the bravest among them, that always cause me the most problems. I didn't have quite the effect I wanted. It's just I'm having such a hard time finding any like consistent pattern to how to effectively get rid of people, you know? Like, yeah, you could just keep spamming, but I feel like there's got to be more to it than that, right? Seems to be working most effectively for me, though, so we can just keep you panicking. Then maybe you'll get out of here. Or maybe you'll not. Ugh. I swear, if you just ran upstairs so you could hurl yourself out of the highest window possible, that would be very on brand. Somebody left. And... And the game crashed. Ooh, I'm actually very surprised to find that the game saves your progress where you left it. That's not really typical for a game like this. I really appreciate it, though. Alright, the, uh... I think there's supposed to be, like, a flame effect or something to show the dollhouse burning down. But come on. Lady, however scared you may be, always know that the door may be far, but there's a window right there. You guys really require a lot of suggestion. Come on. Run, fools, run. 
door is right freaking there. Oh my god, come on. Out you go. Alright, so maybe we can lead you to an extent. Come on, there's an evil chair chasing you. Boom. And then there were four. But at this point, it's the four that probably came here for the haunting, honestly. I mean, I have to wonder, by just what means did this party happen? Well, let's be real, it's probably the old dark house on the hill that no one's lived in for years. I'd see the appeal. Out you go. At this point, I almost don't care how you do it. You know what? We never did see a fully upgraded car. <laughs> and as with most things, it turns into a monster. Although there's a weird texture thing happening with the steering wheel. You see that? Hey, buddy, do you see this? <laughs> it's like the Jack Baker boss fight. That's right. You know, see, some of you won't be chased. There you go. And now only two remain. I'm actually having to work to find them. Ooh, I'm a spinning turkey. Teddy bear. Oh my god, teddy bear gore was not ready for that. Uh, but you seem to be at the peak of your panic. Oh wow, even the shampoo bottle has got a monster in it. Do you see that sick kickflip? It seems like that other woman is gone. And we need only to terrorize you. You may be the bravest, and I respect you for that. But there's only room in this house for one of us. After all, you can see it's so cramped. <laughs> and you're heading back where it all began. Well, let's show you how welcome you are. Everything along the way is going to be going against you. We have the ability to focus on you and you alone. Come on. And out you should be- You're having a change of heart! You were thinking about not leaving! You aren't leaving! Maybe you're not brave, maybe you're just exceptionally stupid. And to be honest, that's basically a fate worse than death, isn't it? Maybe I'm supposed to not scare you when you stop near the windows? Or maybe you just do this. Maybe this is just your workout routine. Because I'm starting to think you haven't actually paid attention to anything that's happened. Get out. And that's the last of them. And there's the awkward conclusion, if they manage to jump out the window. <laughs> so that was essentially the original Haunt the House game, the Flash game. But this gives us three additional levels, and I'm not actually sure what they are. I might have played a little bit of Ghost Train, but I have not played any of the Terror Town that this derives its name from, the full game. Now we can see here our stats. Uh, Ooh, wait, Ghost of Choice and Object of Choice. That took 23 and a half minutes. I think my record was like 11 minutes before or something like that. But it really does come down to just kind of like spamming abilities in the areas with the most people. I don't know if you can actually influence the Scared Away versus Jumper count. Uh, but does that mean that there are other ghosts we can use? Tell you what then, I think what I'm going to do is play North Pole and Ghost Train now. And then we'll do Terror Town later. So, there we are. Oh, I guess I've played all of these at some point? I have no memory. It must have been like nine or ten years. Uh, let's try it. Welcome to the North Pole. Scare away all 30 shoppers from the North Pole department store. Who is this little ghost? And why is she all the way up north in the freezing cold? Oh, we're playing as different ghosts. Which makes sense, we're inhabiting a different area. Look at that snow falling in the background. Oh, we just need a warm place to rest. 
Oh, we're a sad little orphan, are we? I mean, some might say that a moving ornament on a Christmas tree is a good sign when thinking about someone like this. Oh, look at those shattering teeth. And I just love how every object we possess takes on our face somewhere. Look at that snow falling outside the window. How there's such a difference between the dark outside and the light inside. Oh, Detective Grimoire, I believe, is another game by the same developer. Ooh. This place is so full of creepy statues already. It's like I don't even have to do anything, really. Ooh. The soundtracks in this are just, like, so brilliantly comfy. Everything about this game truly is creepy and comfy. The soundtracks, the artwork, and the expression on our little ghost's face. Like, it's just got this sort of... It's got this sort of not-so-dark gothic feel to it, you know? But there you are, running right out into the snow. How does it feel? Come on, it's Christmas. Go spend time with your families instead of shopping for doodads. For your families. Look, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just cold. Honestly, though, in a place like this, I would just assume that these are all, like, electronics and speakers meant to make this place like one of those indoor theme parks. I mean, some stores really are like that. Have you ever been to the New York City Toys R Us? That place was insane. Times Square one, I mean. I don't know if there were m multiple Toys R Us's in the city. Loop. But at a certain point, it really is just a matter of, like, <laughs> I suppose cluster haunting people? Ooh. <laughs> That's one of the fun things about this, is that uh, you sort of jump scare yourself at times. Uh, there you go. That should get a bunch of you going. And that should mildly inconvenience a couple of you. Let's just uh, be careful not to scare too many of you on the roof. Or rather, we want you to begin your run on the roof. Oh, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Although we can possess a gargoyle. Gargoyles are so cool. And as you can see, we are making much shorter work of this place than we did the mansion. We just have to... My, my left hand is actually starting to hurt. Oh, the cherubs are rocking out! Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, perfect opportunity. It's these cluster hauntings that you really have to focus on early on. I'm finding out, I think, that it's actually not as complicated as I assumed it must be. Like, I think there really isn't more to it. It's just one of those games where oop, things will sort of uh, slow down as it goes. Rocking horses are so creepy. I used to have one as a kid. I think it's in the basement being even creepier than it ever was. And... And I never... It never registered to me just how weird this thing is. I honestly have no idea how old it is. It's, like, made fully of wood and, like, hand-painted. So I, I really don't think... Uh, I, I don't think it's anything that's sold, like, as recently as I knew it, like, in the 90s. Here, Creepy Puppet Show. Nope, the door is right there. Ooh, Creepy Puppet Show. There you go. No, come on. It, the moral of this puppet show is that you should leave. How do you just ignore a moral from a puppet show? The moral arbiters of our society. That's weird. I could, like, hear somebody screaming off in the snow. Go on, get out. Away with you. 
There we go. If we get you right next to the door, you'll tend to make the right decision. And that's two-thirds of the way through. Hardly ten minutes in. Uh, but remember, it's always the last ones that give us the hardest time. Hang on, let's actually guide you away from the ledge a little bit. I may be a ghost, but that doesn't mean I'm mean. Ooh, what can we do with the cake? Burst! Oh! It's such a brief thing that you almost can't see it, but there is some beast rising out of the top. Ooh. That one's kind of cool. I like that. Anything that can fly, anything that can move around is so useful. Ooh, it's a hopping hat. <laughs> Although, with some of these people, like, when it comes down to the last ones, I always have to wonder just what it is that's actually getting you out of here now, in particular. Like, by that point, you've seen so many things. Although, I suppose it is possible for them to be so lucky that they simply never experienced anything up until that point. That's right, no, it's landing right there to let you know that you shouldn't be coming this way. You're going upstairs like a moron. Out you go, two of you at a time. And we're down to four. No one was around to see that but me, but I found it creepy. Did I just hear vocals in the soundtrack? Some people don't like that. I really, really like that. Oh wait, no, 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 I've gotta use you. Uh, you are the goddess of destruction casting holy electric venom down on everyone who dares disturb our home. Actually, if anything, we're kind of the ones disturbing your home, or at least uh, your place of Commerce, which is sort of like your home if this is America. Get on out of here. We're down to only two, but these ones are gonna be the most difficult. Come on, there's a monster coming out of the wreath. You know you're scared. No, that's that is the wrong direction. Oh, no, you can leave on the other side, too. I hadn't even noticed there was a door there. But, you know, just please pick one instead of running back and forth. Thank you. Meanwhile, your counterpart is actually fine, seemingly. Go on, you. You might be actually stupid. Holy heck. I'm actually in astonishment. Do you know how bad it is when you... Let's just leave you alone for a little bit. How about everybody just be cool? I thought I was actually about to watch you run away from the door, up three flights of stairs, and then leap off the roof next to a gargoyle, which if you die next to a gargoyle, your soul is trapped forever. I think that's the point of those things. This is actually astonishing. Kid, I am sad because of you. It's not even the cold anymore. Were this a movie or a show, you would be the one that ends up living here with me. And I decide that, okay, I can make room for just one person. But, sadly, that's not how the game works. We just have to rely on your AI to stop being stupid for just a moment, if it can be called AI. You actually calmed down for a second. There we go, finally. Ooh, and we got an A rank. Uh, 30 out of 30, no jumpers, which makes this uh, a very happy Christmas. Ten and a half minutes. That wasn't bad. And that reindeer really was the MVP, being able to slide it around and all. Hmm. 
I wonder if it's actually possible, I mean it must be if it gives us the option to change ghosts. But maybe that's an unlockable thing. Ghost Train, the Railroad Carnival. 40 thrill seekers are riding on the Railroad Carnival. Scare them all. I think I can handle one more level before a carpal tunnel does me in. Oh, look! Uh, this ghost is much more mischievous from the look of it, in fact, even manifesting as the steam rising from this locomotive. Not only that, we've actually got our own exhaust port. That is awesome. Oh, let's survey our surroundings, shall we? This place is absolutely nuts. Oh, wow, they actually have a marked exit. That's incredible. All right, well, who will we start with first? The, uh, the showman in me wants to start with a single lone person, but I know it's probably more effective if we start telling time aggressively at a large group. <laughs> Look, we can see our tongue hanging down. Oh, God, we are such a brat. And I don't know why, but Bratty Ghosts just kind of works, doesn't it? <laughs> and the soundtrack here reflects our nature. Come on now. Get on out of here. I love how the hauntings and the props actually sort of work with our ghosts. A sideshow becomes Does Wish. That's not the spookiest thing ever. Meet the sweet mermaiden. All we have to do is imply that the glass is going to break any moment now to send you heading for the hills. The hills which are passing by quite rapidly in the background. There we go, the petting zoo doors are open. God, this is so... it's just so chaotic and I love it. Uh, but we've really got to build up that tension meter. And the thing is, the earliest hauntings are really just equipment being used properly by itself. Which is more of an industrial revolution, an automation revolution than anything. Look at you guys trying to play it cool and carry on a conversation while this is happening. Ooh, it looks like a ghost, but in actuality it's possessed by a ghost. rise from the slab, or at least try our best to. That should send you running. <laughs> Nerd. You know, normally the button leaves a little bit of ambiguity as to what's actually going to be happening. That is not so here. Oh wait, let's get your fortune told. Oh, wait. Hang on, wait. Oh, there's different tension levels in different parts of the train. I hadn't noticed that. And that's just disgusting. <laughs> there's the cannon. Okay, combined with the giggle, that's actually a little bit creepy. Alright, come on. Spam rattle, spam rattle, spam rattle. Spam lights, spam lights, spam lights. And yeah, so that's what I don't understand. Should I be just like bullying individuals? <laughs> you can't decide what you want to do. Or should I be should I be just kind of spreading it around? We're almost ready to <laughs> make it look more like this thing's about to break. Come on, just a little bit more. Oh my god, my left hand hurts so much. Ah, oh, this is not a game you can play for long periods. Come on. Rave. A claw machine rave. That make make claw machines slightly less of a scam. Perfect finisher. <laughs> oh yeah, we got a lot done there. Ooh, a flying pig. 
Well, that's one quarter of them gone. <laughs> Literally attempting to assault you apparently only elicits minor concern. Ooh! We're a plastic ball golem. Gotta be honest, I've heard all kinds of horror stories about these things. But I've never seen it done in such a way before. Hey, Lamau! Get out of here. But yeah, this one is proving to be quite a bit more uh, resilient, I suppose you could say. And these people are quite a bit more reluctant, understandably, to jump off a moving train. I get that, honestly. Alright, I think going the bully route is going to be the way to go. We just need someone to come over here! And you are gone. Table turns into a tank. You can't say these things aren't inventive. <laughs> okay, that face is actually a little bit scary given what we're used to. Uh, and maybe that'll actually start to see. Yep, <laughs> people are leaving in droves now. Chomp, 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 chomp! <laughs> oh my god, wait. I swear, I recognize that sound effect. Uh, I mean, it may not be where it's from, but from Gregory Horror Show. What does this clown thing do? Oh! <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that good, but it was. It's these spambles, these spambles that allow the most creativity. You just went right off. Get out of here, come on. You just need to be pushed right over that edge. That adorable thing was what pushed you over? Come on. Whoa! God, the animation on that was unbelievably smooth. Right, we need to raise that tension level. You know, maybe the problem Maybe part of the problem is too many people around who aren't that scared. I know they'll sort of return to a state after a while. But if we just keep doing this, do it at the largest groups, maybe that's how we... I mean, obviously that's more efficient, but, you know, it's still just the question of focus or spread around. Whoa! <laughs> I knew this one had to have a good one in it. That's right. <laughs> yeah, why would weird things like this be happening in a funhouse? Honestly, I get it. I think it would be pretty hard to actually scare people because they think it's all part of the show. Oh, this is perfect. Boom! Uh, sometimes it's like an... Bunch of enemies standing around a barrel in a video game. Beast! Oh, it's crazy eyes. This is a very difficult game to commentate on, but uh, it's almost like being a sports announcer. Ooh, what's our bigger haunting for here? Bride! Is it just me or did a People are just, like, vanishing when they... Is this thing, like, teleporting them around the map? Or am I experiencing a very strange bug? It'll happen even if I'm not doing anything. Well, you don't seem to be actually dying. That was bizarre. Okay, well... Look at you people still just having a gay old time. Nope, I will put a stop to that. <laughs> See and no. Two very ominous control choices, uh, but where's the rest of you? Lift, lift, lift. Come on, get out. You know you're terrified. You know you're terrified, so come on. Objects are coming to life before your eyes. 
and nobody seems to get that. You know, when it does that effect, it scares me a little bit. <laughs> like, it's so unexpected and it's just so visceral that you 100% feel it. Um, this is starting to get real, uh, real difficult. Oh, hey, you're back here. Perfect. Oh, we can throw the switch. Uh, how crazy would it be if certain objects in the environment interacted? Oh, one of you is frozen with fear. This one's really creepy how you come out without even like breaking the window at all. But yeah, we're still running into that bug where people are disappearing on contact with that thing. God, ooh. All right, you're seeing literal apparitions appear before you as if that's the craziest thing you've seen today. <laughs> how about just shooting at you? How about that? What will that do for you? Kebab. Okay, this bug seems to have subsided for now, so that's good. Oh, but now it's happening over here. Why is that a thing? Well, hopefully your fear actually, like, remains. But still, that is, that is going to prove really annoying. It might be why it's not working properly. Ooh, what does the witch do? Oh, come on, that one's really scary. You guys have to be freaked out by that. Oh, you're, the painting's doing its thing again. You guys always seem to congregate here, don't you? Don't worry, that's totally fine by me. That actually helps tremendously. There we go, that's you past your breaking points. Far too many of you are still having a grand time. And that's gotta stop right now. Okay, people are finally starting to get off again. You guys always seem to congregate down here, which, you know, is perfect for me, because it allows me to get all kinds of breaking done. Breaking your spirit, breaking your minds, breaking your bodies. Well, you're breaking your bodies by going up here repeatedly. I, I really do, th yeah, there's a reason why most of the remaining people are over here. I don't know if you can leave. Come on, get out. Yep, two of you. We can get more. Some of you seem more resistant to certain things than others. Once you get down this low, these are basically the boss humans. But we're down to 5 out of 40, and they are entirely unconcerned, most likely because I haven't really been dealing with them for a while. So it becomes much more of a bullying simulator after you get this low. I guess somebody left. I'll be honest, my patience is running out for this. Like, it always comes down to the last few people who just will not leave. I'm in physical pain from spamming keys. You're still glitching out in the corner there. Yeah, there's something seriously wrong with this car, and it's not the haunting. Ooh, you've got a blade on your trunk. That's kind of cool. You know what else is cool is getting off the friggin' train. I have had it with these monkey fighting humans on this Monday through Friday train. Oh, we can actually possess the tail of the snake. That's kind of cool. But please, leave. This is taking an astonishing amount of time. Oh, and see now randomly, I guess somebody else somewhere just did leave. So, does it even matter that I'm still following these people around? Look, lady, please. I've tried everything. Like, do you want money? <sighs> Whatever currency I have is probably not from the current nation this land occupies, but just please leave. Oh my god, I, I don't even know how long I've been recording this segment for. We can possess the crow, that is so weird. 
That's actually taking control of a living animal. Ooh, we can even fly it around. That's actually really, really cool. I wish I had known about that earlier. What happens if we unpossess you? Oh, they'll just fall to the ground there and hang out. I actually just reloaded the level because that that has to be bugged, right? There's no way the game actually just works like that. There you are. You're terrified, and you should start trying to leave now. Let's go only behind you so that you're motivated to go that way, and I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, now see we... Oh, come on. I don't understand it. Like, I really, really don't. I don't understand what this game wants me to do. There we go, thank you. And it's over. Yeah, I think something was bugged, because I got them immediately afterwards. And we got S rank. That can't mean what it does in other things, right? 41 minutes. And most of that was the last five. So that was Haunt the House, and do I want to do Terror Town? I'm very curious to see what that's like. Because uh, apparently those three that we just played were all just kind of extensions, new levels of the Flash game. But I think Terror Town actually has a bit more thought and design put into it, and it claims that it has a more detailed tutorial, so maybe I'll try that in another part. My hands literally cannot take more gameplay right now, but uh, maybe there is more strategy to it. I feel like maybe there's something I'm just not understanding. But this game has just got so much charm to it, doesn't it? So much variety in the animations. Because as, as it stands, I don't think it's really the best thing for it to just kind of like spam abilities over and over. Uh, but getting to see all these different ways we can do things, getting to watch the atmosphere in the house slowly change as we build up our tension, that's a lot of fun. I just really like the sense of escalation, you know? You go from the point where nobody knows anything is wrong and you're just silently floating about looking for opportunities until it's the end, everyone has long since cleared out and it's just the last few brave ones trying to tough it out. Still, clearing out an entire town is a much, much bigger challenge. And that'll have to wait until next time. Until then, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.